All right. So here I go. This is going to be my May 2022 account review. Well, character review. I'm going to go run over my characters as quickly as I can. And we're going to uh, save this and see what it's like in the future. Uh, yeah. So, Toma, Lisa, Razor, Kaya, Goro, Deluc, Tartaglia, Yaimiko, Aloy, Zhao, and Zhongli are all level 1. Um, no investment whatsoever. No investment. Um, but where are those who should? But I do plan to build him so he does have some artifacts on him and he is C3. My Tartaglia is C1. My Deluc is C5 from losing 50 50s. And my Kaya C2. My Razor C6. My Lisa C1. My Thomas C6. But none of these have investment. But Zhongli is Zhongli, so. And the only reason I even have this is because I was trying to get four stars on this banner. Uh, my Amber has like no investment either, even though she's level 20 out of 40. My Chi Chi has no real investment or play. And neither does my Venti. Uh, he doesn't even have artifacts. I don't play him. You can see his friendship is five, but I think that comes from the uh, from the Serena Teapot. So, whatever. Uh, but I might build him one day just like I plan to build Zhongli. The Archons are really good, so. Uh, Albedo is not built either, but I do plan to. Um, I even have his signature weapon and everything. This is a character I actually do plan to build. Uh, so, but he C0. Barbara? Um, I guess she's really the first character you'd say I had any true investment on uh, because she was a healer and hydro <laughs> so uh, she had the old maiden uh, beloved set and c6 but uh, I don't really use her much anymore but she she's there I guess she exists so Changyun I don't really know why he's even level 60. I don't really play him. I don't think I ever really did play him even. He doesn't even have artifacts on anymore. I must have robbed him and put it on somebody else or something. I don't know. But he's C6, of course. So, that's Chong Yun, at least. Uh, Shangling with the 1400 attack. I'd say Shangling is the first true character out of all of them before her. Out of all of these other characters. Shangling is the first one that has any kind of real investment even though I'm just now starting to play her after realizing she's really good uh, she has the 60 crit rate and 100 crit damage going on 185 energy recharge with 120 element of mastery she does have the catch my catch went to her so uh, yeah we're gonna try to make her really strong she has the emblem of severed fate and c6 I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make Shangling good. Uh Beto and Kujasara are in the same boat as Shangling right now where I'm in the middle of making them good because after realizing they're good. If you ever uh, want to trade tactics, so Beto ready. has like the 50 crit rate, 150 crit damage thing going on with the energy recharge, 191. She has the big fish going on, but she still only has twelve hundred attack, so eh. I'll try to make it better over time she does have the emblem of severed fate going on the off piece is the hat that's weird why i guess the own piece must have been really good okay yeah that's why electro with the energy recharge for emblem of severed fate and the crit rate and crit damage that's that's why okay anyway c6 four eleven eleven talent and kujo sara is in the same boat uh, it's them. I'm trying to build her up. She has the string list, so that already shows you how copium everything is at the moment. Um, but hopefully, I can get like a really strong base attack bow and make Kujasara good one day. With the four piece no bless C6, uh, three ten ten talent. 
yeah these three are my current project right now so my Diona is actually pretty decently built and still serviceable but I haven't updated her in a while she has an R5 sacrificial bow and still running the four piece maiden beloved uh, I don't know what else you would run on her maybe the uh, tenacity of Millilith now I don't know I think yeah that sounds like it that would work um c6 110 11 talent i haven't touched her build in a long time but she still does what she's supposed to do so i just you know the question becomes do i put a lot of investment into her again or do i just build up other characters you know so uh maybe on some off time i'll go back to building diona my sucrose even though the character's cracked i don't really do anything with sucrose uh she has an r5 sacrificial fra fragments and she does have the vv set she is c6 but i don't play her but i probably should oh look i don't even have this thing leveled up and it's an attack circle so yeah that shows you how much i care about sucrose uh but Maybe one day. My Sayu is a much more serviceable uh, animal with a 374 element of mastery and 1500 attack. So, yeah. Um, and the Rain Slasher R5, she has VV2. Uh, I know the, uh, her burst doesn't work too well with the VV, I don't think. But she can still roll around and swirl things and get that resistance trait going. So, um yeah i like her with vv personally uh c6 11010 talent sayu pretty good shingcho 54 crit rate 111 crit damage 192 energy recharge with 112 element of mastery he does have the r5 sacrificial sword with the emblem of severed fate so yeah he's doing pretty good c6 11111 talent um could he be better with the crit damage maybe sure but he does really good as he is so i'm not looking to uh, optimize him too much same as like uh diona like how much more investment do i want to put into them when they're already doing the job they need to do you know uh ning Wong, i don't play her but i want to that's the thing so I do have some investment in her, and I did used to tap into her, but I don't really do anything with her. Um, but maybe one day, with the 44 crit rate and 137 crit damage, 1500 attack, I do have an R5 Solar Pearl, so maybe that'll help. I don't even know if that's really great on her, but I think it is. When I read it, it sounds like it might be. She has the four piece archaic petrol, C6, 8, 9, 11 talent. Maybe I'll get around to her one day. Uh, but my Noel is a much better built Geo character uh, with 2300 defense, but she only has 1200 attack, I know. Uh, but zero element of mastery. 64 crit rate, 128 crit damage, and 111 energy recharge. The thing is, I need some more Geos to go along with Noel. Um, so maybe, like, I could pick up some Goro constellations one day or something. I don't know. She has the white blind R1, but maybe I'll R5 it because I want to play Noel as my main Geo if I can. Uh, four piece Husk of Opal and Dream, she's C6. That's why I want to play her as my main Geo because she's C6. Uh, 8 8 11 talent um i kind of play her with my yunjin right now uh that seems like it works a little well but i, I want more i want to do like a mono geo team one day if i can so um bennett is bennett nothing really needs to be said about this guy 208 energy recharge he has this weapon because it's like my highest base attack sword that i own he has the noblesse oblige set he has 28,000 hp he's c5 he's 110 11 talent it's bennett i mean it's bennett right um yanfei was my main pyro for a long time uh 
it started with Shinyan, then it went to Yanfei, then it went to Yoimiya and Hu Tao. So, uh, but Yanfei carried me a long time. Uh, she has 157 unlimited mastery, 60 crit rate, and 180 crit damage, 117 energy recharge. She does have the R5 with Sith. So, yeah, that's cool. Uh, four piece wonders troop for the charge attack damage bonus c6 9 11 12 talent and she's still pretty good even today uh like i can pull her out and and blow things up so uh, even now she's still kind of holding up but join me uh and hu tao are just better so i don't really need to play yanfei anymore but i can if i ever want to just because she is really fun to play but oh well but I still like her. My official has pretty high attack, 1890. But she's running the stringless, and she like has, um, she has this four star artifact right here. But it has a lot of attack percent on it and crit damage, a little bit of crit damage and stuff. I don't know, but. I don't want to go back to that domain to search for a crit rate hat. That's the thing. Like I don't, I don't have a need to go back there for official only. You know what I mean? So she's kind of stuck with this probably forever. <laughs> uh, with 30 crit rate <laughs> and 110 crit damage, but I mean, I'm not gonna dump all those resources just to make her better, unless some other better set comes out. I don't know if she does have a better set. Maybe. Maybe there is a better set other than Four Piece Thunder and Fury, but I'm not gonna bother with it. She still does her job even like she is. So, TC6, 7, 12, 11 talent. Again, how how much more can you invest in the old characters, right? Like, she does what she's supposed to do still, so that's good enough for me, right? Uh, Rosaria is almost 1900 attack. Uh, I play her with the freezes and I play her with Eula for the crit and the shred and all that stuff. Rosario is pretty good. Um, 53 crit rate, 110 crit damage, and it's okay. 188 energy recharge. She has this thing for the energy recharge most, mostly. That's mostly why I have it. Um, I'm interested in trying her physical one day just for the fun of it, but she's really serviceable as a support. So. Uh, I just haven't bothered trying to do that. So, uh, the Noblesse Oblige is what I have on her. C6, 111 11 talent. Nothing really else to be said about Rosario. Yungjin, 2189 defense. Uh, defense is all you care about, right? So, uh, she does have the 33 crit rate, but that's for a reason. Uh, she also has the 236. Uh, 0.9 energy recharge that's good but the crit rate i have is because i have her with the r5 favonius and i want like if i need particles i can just auto attack a few times and get free particles because i'll crit with this crit rate <laughs> so it might take like three or four auto attacks but i will eventually get a crit so yeah um Husk of Opulent Dreams, 4 piece, C6, 111, 12 talents. Eugene, she works really good with my Yoimiya. She works really, really, really good with my Kokomi. Uh, this is one of my favorite supports in the whole game. So, uh, yeah, when she came out, like, that was a big up for me. I, I loved it. So, Yunjin, Mona, 50 crit rate. Uh, 213 crit damage, 160 energy recharge, only 19 elemental mastery, but that's okay. Um, yeah, R5 Witsith, Emblem of Severed Fate, four piece. See C1. I didn't get my first Mona until uh, I didn't get my first Mona until I was level 58, and then I got two Monas. It took me that long to get a single Mona, even though I have like a C5 Deluke. And like a C4 gene or whatever. Um, but I didn't get my first moment until level 58. That's kind of crazy. 188 talent. I do like playing around with her. But with characters like Yellen coming out. Um, 
I don't know how much use Mona will get, but I do want to build her just because I was missing the character for so long, so. Then there's Jean. 51 crit rate, 146 crit damage, 118 energy recharge, 194 element of mastery, 1600 attack. She has this weapon mostly for the crit damage, I'm not gonna lie. But your attack is increased, and Jean does want to attack, so that's kind of a cool thing, I guess. Um, it's not totally useless on Jean, I guess. Um, because your attack is increased when you kill an enemy, so I guess it has some use on Jean. I, I don't know. Uh, she has the VV set for the shred. Uh, I'm running some Copium 4 piece right here, or 4 star right here, but I guess it is what it is. Uh, C4, A11 talent. That's Gene for you. This is Traveler, needs no introduction. Doesn't even have artifacts on right now uh, because I switched back and forth between the Animo and the Electro. I don't really play the Geo Traveler, um, but it, it's the Traveler. Nothing needs to be said here. Shinyan, almost 3,000 attack, 2,800. I don't know why she has 133 element of mastery. That's kind of crazy. Um, but I'm gonna redo her because I played her way, way back when she like first released, and she carried me before I even got Yanfei. It was her and Kaching. But I haven't played her in a long time, but I do want to make her strong by jacking up that crit damage. I don't care about the crit rate because of her C2, where the crit rate on her ultimate is increased by up to 100%. So, like, who cares about crit rate, right? Uh, but I do have the two-piece Pale Flame and two-piece Blood Stain going on right now. But I do want to, I do want to invest in her some more and get the crit damage up just for the fun of it, just, just, just for the fun of it. So, uh, Hu Tao and Yoimiya are my two current pyros. Uh, Yoimiya a little more than Hu Tao because I've really just started playing Hu Tao, even though I got her way back when she ran the first time, and then I got one constellation when she ran the second time. She has 999 talents. I might crown her. But yeah, it took me until getting this constellation to realize how good she actually is. Uh, four piece Shimanawa. She does have her signature weapon, Staffahoma. 71.5 crit rate, 220 crit damage, 103 elemental mastery. Uh, craft character, craft character, uh, 36,000 HP. Uh, only Yoimiya, only my Yoimiya is comparable, really, and I really don't even know that. My Hu Tao might be stronger, I don't know. Yoimiya is 59 crit rate, uh, 180 crit damage, with 109 energy recharge and 65 element of mastery, but she's C1. Uh, and she has the R5 Rust with the uh, Shimanawa set too, but like I said, she's C1, but she's supposed to run again in 2.8, I think. So I'm gonna get constellations. I don't know how many. No more than three. But at least one. So uh one, two, or three constellations. She does have a double crown though with 10, 10, 8 talent. So but this is my main pyro right here. This character right here. And if not her, then this one. Um Kaching. She carried me alongside Shinyan. Uh, way early in the game, Kaching was the first 5 star I ever got. 55 crit rate, 211 crit damage, 120 energy recharge with 182 element of mastery. She has the Jade Cutter. Um, 2 piece Thunder Fury, 2 piece Shimanawa, C6. So, of the limited 5 stars, she hit C6 first. Then there's Delete, Deluke with C5, and Jean with C4, and Chi Chi with C3, and Mona with C1. But Kaching hit C6 first, so that's pretty great. Uh, I'm happy it was her because she's the one that I invested in the most. Um, triple Crown. It just goes to show you how much I play Kaching uh, or played Kaching. I still do play her though because I like Kaching, so. Yeah, I've 36 star the abyss using Kaching, so. 
uh, yeah, that's my Kaching, and to this day, I still play her. Raiden Shogun has 2200 attack with 133 element of mastery, 53 crit rate, 115 crit damage with 279 energy recharge. Um, that's a pretty good amount of energy recharge, uh, especially considering. I'm running the Engulfing Lightning, which is her signature weapon. And she has Emblem of Severed Fate. Uh, so that's really good that she has that much energy recharge. Uh, she is C3 because she came at Constellate, uh, Constellation uh, Anniversary Time. Um, so I was like, yeah, I can get more Constellations for, for less money. And that's what I did. Uh, so C3... Um, one of the deeper characters that I've ever pulled on because not many characters make it this far uh, a double crown 6 10 13 talents uh, I say that but even so I have like a c3 jungle that's level one right so <laughs> but yeah riding Shogun really good really strong Eula 1800 attack with 61 crit rate 141 crit damage 115 energy recharge no element of mastery because she's physical so that's good i didn't waste any element of mastery stats on artifacts she has the r5 snow tomb star silver she has the four piece pale flame she's also c3 and that was not an anniversary or discount time so that's just straight up purchase right there like i just straight up got it because i like eula uh, 9913 talent so she has a crown and yeah that's Eula so you can see all these are the last few characters and all the cryos are here there's Eula, Ayaka, Ganyu, Shinha <laughs> it's pretty funny uh, but let's go to Ayaka and Ganyu they're very similar um and they both function in my three cryo one hydro team with Ayaka, Ganyu, Shinha, and Kokubi. That's the main team I run, even in the Abyss. As long as it's a floor, I can get away with it. 33 crit rate, 218 crit damage, 132 energy recharge, and 142 elemental mastery. She has her signature weapon, Miss Blitter. She has four piece Blizzard Strayer. Okay, so. That 33 crit rate becomes like 50 crit rate uh, once she starts attacking and becomes like 70 crit rate if the enemies are frozen. And with the double cryo uh, resonance, it becomes like, I don't know, 80, 80, 90 crit rate or something crazy. So, um, yeah, she's doing pretty good. Um, she sees zero though. She has a double crown though with 10, 9, 10. That's Ayaka for you. 2000 attack. Again, using the same boat with 2500 attack. Similar crit rate, 36. But I want to get her crit damage above 200 one day. But she only has 173 right now, but that's still okay. 116 energy recharge, 91 element of mastery. Amas Bow. R2. So she has her weapon. Blizzard Strayer, once again. So, like, her crit rate. At worst it's like 50 and at best gets up to like 80 or something so that's good she see one so I did get one constellation on her 1099 so she does have a crown and then that leaves these two Shinha and Kokomi Shinha was a very high investment for me uh, game wise uh, average but money wise very high investment same with Kokomi um 42 crit rate 150 crit damage 149 energy recharge I don't really care about the crit rate or crit damage because it's Shinha and the only thing she really cares about is attack so I did get her uh I got her weapon um her signature weapon Calamity Queller attack and attack pieces Shimanawa and Gladiator because that's all she cares about C6. So, yeah. When I say I invested in this character, I invested in this character. Uh, 
and she turned my Ganyu and my Ayaka into C6 characters. So I got basically two C6 characters for the price of one, right? <laughs> so, uh, but you know, I have no regrets about that one. And the only thing I ask is that Shinha give my wallet back because she stole it. I don't know where it is anymore. She stole it. Uh, 11312 talent. So she has a crown. Um, I want to get her attack even higher because I put a lot of focus on the crit rate and crit damage for really no reason other than I like to crit with her when I can, but whatever. Um, this character is great and one of my favorites in the game and she made these two characters insane and that's working alongside this um kokomi my, my last one um of course she has the negative crit rate because it's kokomi but she has 155 element of mastery and 136 energy recharge has her signature weapon And the four piece uh, ocean hued clam, yeah, and also C6 because why not, right? Uh, so yeah, you can see the two characters that I really, really, really enjoyed Shinha and Kokomi. Um, I have no regrets here either, though, you know. Um, I guess. After Shinha stole my wallet, she got into a fight with Kokomi and Kokomi stole the wallet. I don't know. <laughs> but, no regrets there. Um, she's really, really strong. She works out just fine. 9, 12, 13 talent, so she has a crown too. But, those three right there, or those four rather, are the main team that I run. Ayaka, Ganyu, Shinha, Kokomi. Provided I can get away with it. So, yeah. That's my entire account. Um, I'll look back at this eventually. And see what's changed and what hasn't. Uh, well, you know. And see what I've invested in. What I've made better. See if my Zhongli actually has anything. See if my um, Albedo is actually built. Yeah, we're going to see what happens. But... For now, that's it. May 2022 account review. Yeah. Transfiguration. Born of ice and fire.